Hello YouTube. Uh, today I am doing a review or let's say a setup and explanation of these walkie talkies very popular on Amazon apparently and recommended by them. Uh, just that when you receive them it's pretty hard to figure out how they work and that's because the manual is long and things are actually much simpler than it seems. So, I did the hard work for you and I'm going to show you how they work and how to set them up. So, basically, uh, on the front, you have some buttons. That's the power button. These are the volume. They have other functions too, but for now let's stick with the main one. And this, you go into the setup mode, and this is your handy little light. Now, uh, when I got this, it made a lot of chirping noises, it was too loud, so I had to make some adjustments. I ended up turning off the, uh, the, the tones, and so forth so let's let's go through and see how I did that so to set this up you press menu if you press it once you get the channel and obviously you want to pick a channel that comes up on the other one press it twice you get the sub channel I apologize for this reflection here actually that's a light inside so I'm gonna try to Avoid that for you. So we're twice is the sub channel. So basically that's a privacy. We'll go here to explain it. Second one is a privacy of the channel, sort of like a sub channel. That's uh, sort of a non-technical explanation. Now if you press it three times, you've got the VOX. You see the VOX is, uh, there we go. See, it's pressing there, and that's, uh, I turned it off, and that's the hands-free. Uh, so basically you talk into it or you do something to, to the walkie-talkie without pressing the PTT button, they call that. The, that's where you talk. When you wanna send a message to someone, you press that. Let's see if there's an actual, explanation of what PTT is. I forget all these acronyms. Push to talk. Excellent. So that's what the PTT button is right here. By the way, if you press that twice, you send a signal to the other walkie-talkie. I mean, oh, I turned that feature off. So maybe I'll turn that back on. Anyway, so press it once, channel, press it twice, sub-channel, press it three times, and you get the voiceover, you press it one, two, three, or off, that gets us sensitivity. You press it again, you get the, I think it's the volume. The collar, collar tone. So I'm gonna turn that back on. See, that's one. Two. Oh, it's the actual. You get a bunch of different noises, so you get to pick your noise. Press it again, and you get the volume tone. And if you press tone off, then you're not gonna get that, that double beep on the other side. Uh, I may turn that back on, so let me try to turn that back on. Tone off, tone on, then you press the PTT. as a dual function to save. So then if you do it four times, you get the Roger, and you'll see the little 
You get the Roger. It says RO. Very hard to see. Maybe it'll come off for a second. There it goes. And it says off. Because every every time you talk, you, you know how you used to, years ago, you say Roger, and then it was over. <laughs> well, this one does it for you if you have that on. I turned it off because it's totally annoying. Uh, you know, some of the two way radios also, they, uh, you can talk at the same time, but uh, I don't know if this is capable. Then let's see if we can. That's it. So the, basically there are like five different elements you can go through. Uh, I'll go real quick with them. First one is channel. Second one is uh, sub channel. Third one is voice, uh, hands-free communication. Have that off. And then the next one is the color tones. And the next one is the the tones, so anytime you press the key, you get a tone. And that's annoying, so I turn that off. And then I'm back to the first one. So, I hope that didn't make it more confusing. But, at this point, I want to get it, so. Oh, there it is. So it's back, back working. So when you double click the PTT button, you can uh, you can call the other person on the other side. So basically what you do is you press that and say, hello, walkie talkie. And I guarantee you it's coming out the other side. As far as the range goes, he, if I'm inside my studio in my house and my wife is walking the dog, probably uh, I would say quarter mile to half a mile. If I go outside, whole different story, you know, then you know she can she can go out half a mile or so but uh, uh, these aren't the strongest they go about five kilometers which is about two and a half uh, miles um, so that's with no nothing in in the way um, walkie talkies for me aren't uh, I mean I, I just need them when I'm backing up my trailer so it's nothing and you know but i can see how i like at a campsite or something this you know if you don't have self-service which is very frequent in the campsites you can use these instead if someone is you know within a close range but they uh, uh they do have models a little more expensive uh have rechargeable uh batteries me of course i think these are four double uh triple a's but some of the other models can go uh, uh, considerably longer, like 24 miles. Uh, obviously, they have charts to show, show you, you know, 24 miles in a straight range of sight. And then, of course, probably half or uh, a quarter of that amount as far as uh, the actual range you get if someone's in their house, you know, trying to call their, like me, call their wife that's walking the dog or vice versa. Anyway, these are the Moiko. I could not find their website, the original website, uh, like many other products. Who knows who makes them? Who knows where they come from? But uh, they do work a lot better than the ones I had when I, I was growing up. Uh, but uh, again, you know, if you're in the, I hate to put dollar figures, but let's say you're in the, uh, the $20 range, you can get something like this if you're in the $40 range you can get you know something that's uh, farther you can uh, reach farther but uh, they have 22 channels like this one and then uh, they have uh, 99 channels for more security but uh, you know like everything you need to figure out you know how serious you need these walkie-talkies and what you need them for uh, I would say these are good entry-level ones uh, for close range. And that was my review. Thank you everyone for watching.